A divorce between Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt just went from bitter to nuclear. And it all involves the sale of Jolie's portion of the Chateau Miraval in the south of France. The 35-room, $164 million mansion and vineyard. I mean, there it is, right? The sprawling beauty of it. You can imagine what it would be like to be told, oh, yes, you now have to room with someone else, and he's a Russian oligarch. <laughs> Joining us now is Rob Shooter, expert in everything celebrity, host of the Naughty But Nice podcast and author of The Forward Answer. And also with us is family law attorney Brad Micklin. Welcome to both of you. Okay, Brad, I'm going to start with you because you've got the, the law degree. Um, I looked at, you know, what I could get my hands on, and I thought... Right of first refusal usually means right of first refusal, and if it's actually in a contract, you can't just find the highest bidder and stick your ex-husband with a crappy roommate. That's right. And in most family law cases and divorce cases, they're going to, a judge is going to have the balance between what's going to be fair to everybody and what the rigid language of either the contract or the law says. Here we have a lot of balancing interests, both between... Angelina and Pitt, but also the uh, this individual purchaser. I think that this was contemplated. I think they're all using the media attention as a way to possibly drive up the cost, whether it's Pitt trying to buy out his interest again or if Angelina really does want to get out of the winery. But I think it's going to be a long road before we find an answer to it. I also had another theory, Rob Shooter, and that was that they hate each other more than Mr. and Mrs. Smith hated each other, <laughs> and that she truly wants to twist the knife in the back of Brad Pitt because Brad put his heart and soul into that thing. Brad put tens of millions into that thing, and that's where he wanted to be. Um, and she, according to Brad, had left the idea long ago and left the idea of putting money into it long ago. So it almost sounded to me like this was a way she could really get back at him. I'm with you on this one. They've had a long history of not getting along, let's just put it like that. But they bought the place 2008. She paid about 40%. He paid 60%. The value of this place has gone through the roof. So not only is this the home, the family home, let's remember, this is where they got married. This place did have special memories for them, but the price has shot through the roof and now... This is the family business. I think this is the place where Brad Pitt really thought he would retire. He loves it there. There's reports that he even sang to the grapes. He's out there looking after this vineyard. I think this is about spite. I think this is to get him back. Angelina is very, very angry with Brad Pitt. Yeah, I can, and now it's uh, feelings mutual. <laughs> so, Brad, um, <laughs> the, I, I did not know this about this very storied, um, you know, chateau and, and vineyard. Uh, I'd seen the pictures. I'd seen the wedding. I'd, I'd seen this for years, but I didn't know that it was also, um, it was a recording studio where some pretty remarkable artists record. Let me just give you the list here for our audience that might not know too. So Pink Floyd's The Wall was recorded here. Uh, ACDC recorded there. Sting and The Cure, The Cranberries, Sade. Just the fact that The Wall was done, that's all I needed to know. And that thing, that was worth more than $200 million to me. So, look, it's got, it's got the lore. It's got all of that. But Brad, as a lawyer, and, and I'm thinking about what would happen from the bench regarding the children. This was a place where these two parents thought that the best interests of their children, all six of them, would be to be raised there. So now, if Brad wants to be there with his children, there's some Russian oligarch who is part of it. Does the judge care a lick about that part, given the fact that there are still minor children involved? I think the judge will care a great deal about that, regardless of the age of the children. Because this place, as you mentioned, has a, an amazing history. But that history largely existed before they purchased it. So the $28 million investment they made brought with it that value. The fact that it's now worth $164 million or, or however much it's worth suggests that it was from their efforts, their notoriety, their family, and the value of it to Pitt is probably much greater than just the dollars. So like I was saying before, a family judge has to balance between the dollars and cents and the best interests of the children. 
And I think it's going to weigh more in favor of Pitt, even if he has to pay a bigger price for it, because nobody's going to want to put the children out of that house. I mean, seriously, the idea that 50-50, you should just sell a house, it makes me think of War of the Roses, which is why the banner on this segment says the War of the Rosé, because they actually do uh, business in rosé wine, uh, quite a, a storied and, and celebrated rosé wine. So, Rob, you have an intimate connection uh, to this chateau because you were bidding on the, the exclusivity for the photos. And I, I, think, I, I think it's a typo. I saw a bit of 12 million and I thought maybe I'm missing a, a comma or something or a decimal you, point. You saw it right. You, you saw it exactly <laughs> right. So I was the executive editor of OK Magazine when these two got married 2014. They got married at the Chateau and different outlets were allowed to bid on these pictures. I got to see all the pictures. So we saw inside the house, the wedding dress. We bid $12 million and I was pretty secure that we had got these photographs. I left that meeting pretty confident that I'd got the next cover of the magazine. We lost. Apparently, People magazine bid even more. But I think what makes this so important is not only was it delicious to get to see those pictures inside this magnificent house, but it also tells you these two are business people. They knew what they were doing here. They put these pictures up for bid. They gave a lot of money to the charity of theirs too, so I should point that out. But they are business people. They didn't just throw this away. This is, this is an investment to them. And it sounds silly because we think celebrities are so rich. This was Brad's retirement. This was going to be their retirement together. She wants out of it. He does not. I mean, look, you buy something for 30 mil and a decade later it's worth 160. That's a cool 130 mil. I, I would take that job and not shove it. <laughs> Rob Shooter, thank you so much. Brad Micklin, thank you. We'll have to reconvene on this one to see what the judge says. I'm fascinated by it. Thanks, guys. Great to see you. Take care. <laughs>